You know, when you think about it, Stephen, not only does Nick Saban bring in number one recruiting classes, but he typically has more coaching applications, resumes, and interviews to go through uh, in uh, reassembling a staff almost every off season. So to his credit, <laughs> he's able to get the job done in the recruiting process and then also reassemble a staff at the same time, more so than practically any uh, program in the country. So uh, if you can kind of reconstruct the offensive staff for us first and, and take us through that in regards to what's happened since the end of the season, um, who's been hired, and just give us an overview and what is left to be uh, put into place. Well, right now, uh, first and foremost, Mark, let's start this off with the staff that was brought in for 2018, Nick Saban put a lot of thought into recruiting, which was the reason why he went out and got a lot of these young names, the Carl Scotts, well, offensively, of course, the Josh Gaddises, Dan Enos. You promote Michael Knoxley from within to be a offensive coordinator. Got a lot of young names uh, offensively because – a lot of the negative recruiting against Saban was done, you know, via his age. As you know, people were, were basically saying, "How long is Nick going to be there?" You know, if you come over, and coach, I'm up and coming. I have more of a chance to be with you longer. So instead of just going off, having the coaches that can teach, develop, as well as recruit, maybe after just the recruiters and trying to find the guys that can speak the language of today's student athlete and it had its perks to it and it had its, its success to it but not losing Danny Enos, losing Mike Knoxley, losing Brent Key of course to Georgia Tech and Josh Gaddis is going to Michigan to be an offensive coordinator. So in reconstruct and restructuring his offense right now to announcement has come from Nick Saban but according to people I have talked to within the program and just numerous reports around the circuit, a foregone conclusion that Steve Sarkeesian is, and he will serve as offensive quarterbacks coach for Alabama. Alabama bringing in Kyle Putt, who was Sarkeesian's offensive line coach for the Atlanta Falcons the last two seasons, while Sark was coaching, was the offensive coordinator for the Falcons. So you bring in Kyle Flood to coach Alabama's offensive line. Uh, prior to the National Football League, Flood was the head coach at Rutgers, at, uh, Rutgers University. So you have Sarkeesian OC and quarterbacks coach, Kyle Flood, offensive line coach, Charles Huff, who will be the running backs coach, Charles Huff, who spent time at Mississippi State. And then prior to that, is, man, the four years at Penn State from 2014 to 2017, he was massive in producing Saquon Barkley, who was a career 3,000-yard rusher, three consecutive 1,000-yard seasons, had 48, well, 40, excuse me, total touchdowns, was the second overall pick in the 2018 NFL draft to the New York Giants and had a great rookie season. So, you bring in Charles Huff to coach the running backs and then the wide receivers. We're looking at Hallman, Hallman Wiggins, who spent the last three years at Virginia Tech, molding a very young wide receiver core led by Isaiah Ford, who was a 1,000 yard target. Dean, prior to Virginia Tech, he spent some time at Memphis from 2012 to 2015, and Wiggins was integral in developing one Anthony Miller, who became a game-changing wide receiver and a pretty successful route runner. So right now, it's Steve Sarkeesian, offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach, Kyle Flood, Charles Huff, running backs coach, Hall uh, Hallman Wiggins, excuse me, wide receivers coach, and Alabama maintains Jeff Banks with the tight ends. Defense right now, it is it, it's the bigger story because at this point, it looks like Pete Golding is going to take over as the defense plus the boy. A lot of Thai fans are very concerned about this because the questions are, well, what happened to 
all the conversation. Dave Aranda, Mississippi State, Jimmy Lake of Washington. Where are the sexier names? Where are the big times? Nick C interviewing the guys that are the concrete elite of the elite in terms of, of defensive coordinators. Why has Pete Golding jumped into the line here? But for me, uh, Pete, the defensive coordinator, seeing how he's got nine years of experience calling defense. He's got nine years of experience as a defensive backs coach. And he also played defensive back in college at Delta State coming out of uh, Louisiana. Uh, Pete Golding's being looked at later. And then uh, Charles, uh, Charles Kelly, who comes over from Tennessee under Jeremy Pruitt's staff, and been proud of Tennessee, spent the last three to four years at Florida State University, uh, uh, grew up when James and Jalen Ramsey will serve at safety's coach and co-defensive coordinator, Carl Scott, remained at Alabama as the cornerbacks coach. Inside linebackers coach is still Pete Golding. Outside linebackers coach, you bring back an old name, Sal Sanceri who was with outside linebackers at Alabama from 2009 to 2011. So Sun Center returns. Defensive line coach, Mark, it's a coin flip right now between bringing back Bo Davis for his stint at the University of Alabama. Bo Davis, somebody of whom has meant talks of uh, A. Sean Robinson, Jaron Reed, Jonathan Allen, Deshaun Han. Uh, Here's past, we're looking at Terrence Cody, Marcel Darius, Josh Chapman, Jesse Williams, Nick Gentry, a massive line of names. You call defensive linemen that Bo Davis has had his hand in mentoring. So you look at Bo Davis, but if not him, you have the potential of bringing back Freddie Roach. Freddie Roach, who played at Alabama back in 20, from 2002 to 05 under head coach at Tabashula. Freddie Roach was also an assistant strength and conditioning coach on staff from 2008 to 2010, and he was also the director of player development at Alabama in 20. Roach or Bo Davis, you pick the corner flip between the two as far as defensive line coach goes, but uh, Pete Golding being looked at as D coordinator and co-D coordinator and safeties coach. I look at Charles Kelly cornerbacks coach Carl Scott, outside linebackers coach Sal Sanceri, inside linebackers coach remains Pete Go, and the defensive line coach between the bowl days and been told that keep your eyes more so on Dave has seen how his show calls comes up in April and once that is out of the way, he potentially is on his way back to the Crimson Tide. Talking Tide with uh, Stephen M. Smith of Touchdown Alabama, and uh, he has run down the coaching situation uh, since uh, the national championship game, uh, and always a lot of pieces to uh, replace there for Nick Saban on both sides of the football, especially this year on the defense, and of course, National Signing Day, the second version, uh, less than two weeks away.